Today we are going to practice Ayan Nidan, number two of the Ayan family. And my way of teaching, of course, is to make sure that you understand that there should be no difference between the way that you're taught as a red belt or before and the way you perform when you're brown, black belt. So at any level, it should be performed the same way. The only difference is, that, of course, that let's say the brown and black belt or any belt above red belt should be performing a Yanidan in a slightly better way or not necessarily better, but with more understanding. Okay, so I don't believe, for example, that you start the kata on the right side of the hip to go up to the top. I always believe that uh, the action should be uh, reflecting the opponent attack. So you cannot go back to defend from an attack going towards you. You should go directly. So I'll move a little bit more to the side so you can see that the idea is to, again, rotate towards the person attacking, observe, look at where the attack is coming from and which attack they're performing. In this case, I suggest you think of an attack with a left arm stepping punch to the face. The moment you see, then you'll react. So from where you are in your position, ready position, you just push your arms upward to protect your face. So you push it to the side. Next punch will be the right the right punch to the face which you block with the same arm go in the opposite direction so as we said you go directly block left arm with left arm then right arm punch in attack with the right you block with the left and either cross to compress and stop the punch going further so trapping the arm and then punching directly i don't believe that you should be pulling the body back i should think more uh, important that you attack. So this is not a tetsui, but a punch. So again, from beginning, you start by looking, blocking, blocking, striking. So in effect, the right arm is only helping. It's not doing much to start with. So you could do just everything really with the left arm, upward, across, and then strike. Upward, across then strike when you do it together of course it's slightly more uh, powerful if you like because the entire body is dealing with the attack so together 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 so as you pull back you punch opposite side of course is exactly the same so from the last position this way you would have to look again don't move your legs too early just rotate the upper body then lift your right arm the left is supporting again now is the right against the right attack face level then cross then punch so from number three look four five six a body is towards not away from the opponent next part is the one i explained in the last video where you do the uraken and kiage but I'll perform it from this position here so you can see better what the hips are doing. So you turn in order to look at the opponent. So number seven is this action and this action. Then number eight, finishing. So from six is seven, eight. All in one go, of course, but it's seven, eight. Watch this part here. A lot of people, because they're trying to reach higher, they turn too much. Has to be ura ken. So, back of fist, then point open. Yeah? So, step to look under the body. Prepare and lift. Don't just swing upward. Step, prepare. And as you finish ura ken and the knee, no moving as you can see as you come back with your leg you come back with your arm six seven eight number eight is shutuke in back stance okay so number eight is here you finish with your opponent behind you you step forward and you block shuto number nine then one more number ten number one next one when you step forward you're blocking ozayuki as you step forward, don't do 
this too early step then so don't block first pull back then strike the action is a step by pushing forward your body weight and pressing forward as you strike look at that this is called uh, young look at that four fingers look at that okay so you press and strike look at that number 11 okay when you do this try to remember as you block look at that the back of your hand not your fingers back of your hand and your right elbow same place not here center 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 always center okay so from number 11 you are in look at that i'll face the other side so you can see better the rotation so you turn the entire body don't start by turning and lifting but turning then the moment you see the opponent then you react so number 12 is a rotation then shooter center body shooter next one is at an angle don't go 45 degrees just at an angle pushing also important that from knee and shin pointing to the last opponent you rotate moving your front foot everything moves the same way when you go back to the right you also use your right to shoot also prepare when you can see the opponents from a to b finish shoot all again rotate knee hand toes then shoot all. okay okay so that's number 15. from number 15 you move into looking towards the next opponent which is in line with the showman from where you started the kata okay rotate actually it's called ura shomen so shoot okay to zenkutsu zenkutsu because the stance is shorter narrower okay not zenkutsu dachi zenkutsu and reverse inside block yaku hami body position so from left shoot to right reverse inside block from which you kick under the elbow, maigeri with your right, landing punch with your left. Try and think of from five, six, seven, eight. Very important. Blocking, kicking and pulling back, landing and punching. Ending the stance at the same time as Yakuzuki. So as I said, Roku, Shichi, Hachi. Next part, left arm reverse inside block again zenkutsu ku ju ichi so as we said from reverse punch as you land six seven eight we do nine ten one again roku shichi hach ku ju each next move is stepping forward we've done most of the techniques going forward or rather reverse forward into zenkutsu morotyuke so from yaku to morotyuke advance morotyuke elbow touching not this way fists facing the same way morotyuke okay front stance from there, I'll turn this way so you can see better. You rotate again, squeezing, so compress, then get amborai. Once you finish your rotation, you start the block, then open again, not 45 degrees, but around 30 degrees. Are you okay? Same arm, same leg, right, get amborai. Then pointing, rotating, Ayuke and Kiai. So we said number 12 to 13, 14, 15, and 16. Yeah! Then we can come back. Okay, so from the very beginning, 
slowly changing direction just for the sake of uh, completing everything that you can see properly. So as we said, we start to look each me sun she go roku she chi hach ku ju ich ni first kiai when you turn remember you turn only you rotate then sun she when you move remember the rotation is a squeezing action pulling then pushing okay so the last position 11 then you turn me sun then she go from here you go towards the back roku shichi hach ku ju ichi then you step forward or you okay ni you turn from there Sun, she, go and look. Kiai. Hey! Then you can come back. So this kata number 11, first shout. Number 26, Agiuke, last shout. Okay, so practice in slow motion mostly if you can, especially reverse, reverse. And notice that as you block there is not big action coming out going under just travel forward pushing through elbow stay still do not swing kick punch twist elbow stay still the sun okay so please practice and stay safe Oss.